It's been four days since Teenex has been applied to the lawn. Let's check out those results. Hello YouTube. Welcome to Project Golf Course Lawn Season 5. Well, it is the season of plant growth regulators and I have been participating. So if you guys have been following my videos, you know that um, in the past couple of weeks, I've applied a couple of PGRs to my turf. Uh, to give you a little bit of background history, uh, just a little over two weeks ago, I applied Tide Paclo 2SC, which is a class B uh, style plant growth regulator to my lawn. Uh, if you wanna learn about how I did that, you can see the, the card that's up here. Um, and then four days ago, I applied uh, T-Nex, which is a class A, which is a, it's a more common um, PGR that probably a lot of you guys are using. So I'm stacking them early in the season just to kind of, to really arrest that growth to, to see what kind of results I can get as far as like really slowing down, um, you know, how much, how much mowing I have to do. Normally um, at the height of cut that I'm at, uh, I'm having to mow every, um, really every other day to, to, to keep the lawn green between mowings. Um, and I'm trying to, to, to slow that down a little bit so I can still maintain that nice green color, that low height of cut, but not have to get out here and, and mow all the time. So um, in addition to that, um, I've also applied a new carbon product from Lesco called uh, Carbon Pro. So what that is, is like an organic fertilizer and um, soil conditioner that contains some humic acid, some kelp extract. It's supposed to help the, the soil be um, a little bit healthier and, and, and promote root growth. And so that's the overall concoction. Two weeks ago, Tide Paclos uh, 2SC, and then four days ago, uh, the Teenex. Right, and then the day prior to that, so five days ago, uh, was the uh, was the Carbon Pro. So it's been a little, a sl slight concoction of of of, uh, of products been put on the turf. But I want to get, make sure you guys are fully read in, so you understand the results. So the thing that I am most impressed with, as I as I look at where the where the lawn is now, is how it's still maintaining um, the green color. You guys know, for any of you guys that, that have applied um, Teenex, you know that a very common uh, um, issue with that, um, well, especially an issue with the side effect of that type of, of that type of PGR, is you get um, like a, a slight yellowing to the turf. Um, some people call it bronzing. I, I call it like a mild like fertilizer burn type look to the turf. Um, and I'm not getting that this time, guys. It's, it's interesting and I'm not exactly sure why. I mean, I haven't really been fertilizing any more than I normally have. Um, I haven't, um, you know, done anything really different other than that carbon product. And if you guys can see, if it's come through in the video, like the lawn is still maintaining that green color. Now, as far as mowing, what have I, what have I done? Now, you guys know, I mean, as much as I, I love mowing, I gotta make sure I'm making these, these uh, videos scientific for you guys so we, so we can really see the results. So um, the way it worked is the day when I applied uh, the, the um, T-neck, so four days ago, I mowed and then I waited about an hour and then I applied the T-neck. So I have not touched the lawn, I have not mowed the lawn in four days, which for me is kind of hard. Just so you guys know, I'm, I'm going through withdrawals, you know, and it's all for you guys, just so you guys can see this. And if we look at the height of cut, let's see what we're dealing with here. So instead of using my finger, we got measuring tape today. And let me take you guys down here and you can see the height of cut is, uh, I don't know if, how that's coming through guys, but that's, that's well under, it's just under half an inch. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty low. And it's, it's, you know, as you can see, the lawn is still green. I haven't touched it and it doesn't look, it doesn't look scraggly, doesn't look, doesn't look rough or anything, but then, oh, oh what, what, what's that? Okay, so the plot thickens guys. So I've also gotten questions around saying, hey Ron, you know, when you um, put down PGRs on your turf, can I still top dress? And the general rule is you really shouldn't. Um, the, you know, plant growth regulators by their design slow uh, turf growth as their function, right? If they're doing it right, your, your grass really shouldn't be growing. And um, when you top dress your lawn, uh, you want um, that growth to come in to kind of, to, to help the lawn recover faster. So I thought, hey, this, would, this would be an interesting experiment for the channel. Um, I, um, I topped just a few small airs. I got some sand in um, that, uh, that um, a, a viewer uh, that had recently top dressed his lawn um, was kind enough to give me. So I got a couple buckets of sand. And as you guys can see, I put some top dressing down here and here. And uh, we'll see guys, we'll see how long it takes for that to recover. I, I, put, I did that literally um, yesterday afternoon. So, you know, that's, that's right around when the, the PGR is fully regulating. So it should be a good test, right? Because now that um, Tide Paclo is fully kicked in at this point and T-neck should be kicked in fully at this point, it'll be interesting to see how long those areas take to come back. The reason why I did that, reason why also, I, I didn't tell you guys this, and I got this as a suggestion from a viewer when it comes to top dressing, is I got a new toy, guys. Check that out. 
it got me a leveling rig. So, you know, you can't get new hardware. You can't get new hardware and not try it out. So there are a few spots in the front lawn that I was also um, concerned with that I didn't really get the top dress um, because I ran out of material. If you didn't see you know, that happening, which was kind of depressing at the time, but now it gives me a chance to do this video for you guys. Uh, check out my video on top dressing and you can see when I ordered Sam, but I didn't get quite enough. And uh, the net result is I wasn't able to do the entire lawn. But you can see how the front lawn's looking. Uh, again, the, I picked a few small areas here to, uh, to top dress, you know, some low spots there, there, uh, there, you know, you guys can see the spots where it's kind of popping through. And then we also have Vanity Strip 2.0. So I'm trying to bring this area here that just is not, not, it's never just never popped like the true Vanity Strip. I'm trying to bring him up to par two guys. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see how, uh, again, how it recovers. I have no doubt that it's going to recover. It's just a matter of how long because I've, I've put, you know, again, I've, I've got not one, but two plant growth regulators uh, running in the lawn right now, both a class A and a class B. So I'm really hitting the re regulation hard and uh, we'll see how long it takes for it all to come back. Hopefully not too long because I don't want the lawn to look look too rough. But I mean, again, guys, if you look at the um, the height, I mean, the, the lawn looks really good. This hasn't been mowed in four days. And again, for me at this height of cut, typically it's um, it's a every you know, every other day um, affair to get the lawn looking, looking this looks good. And of course we gotta, we gotta show you guys the vanity strip. I'm sorry guys, I didn't, you guys, you guys didn't really think we'd, we'd go through an entire video and not, not give the vanity strip some air time, right? You gotta have that. But again, uh, so the, 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 the height of cut is looking good. Um, the color is really, really, really good too. I'm, I'm really happy with that. It's a really nice deep green. So overall guys, I think that's a win. I think, uh, you know, if your budget can, can um, permit it, or if you could find a buddy that can, um, that has tight Paco, has like a class B uh, PGR, and you get your hand on some T-necks, like mixing the two of them, applying them is, uh, you know, there's, a, there's, there's some merit to that. Um, again, I didn't apply them both at the same time. I did uh, tight Paco roughly two weeks ago, because again, it takes seven to 10 days for that one to start working. And then I did the T-necks um, four days ago. So I mowed and I put the T-necks down. So really, at this point, both of them should be in full regulation. Both of them should be fully working. And again, the results kind of speak for themselves. I think that that looks pretty amazing. The lawn is coming through really, really nicely. Got my few top dressing spots there. So we'll, we'll see how that experiment works out. And overall, the color of the turf is, um, is looking very, 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 very good. I'm really happy with it. The, you see a few dark spots here and there. I think that's the Arden 15 coming in. You can see this one spot here where that tree used to be. Uh, that spot has always been darker, but I think that's largely due to just the, the sod that was put down was not the exact same as the, was the lawn came with. It wasn't Tiffway 419, uh, 419. But, um, but overall, yeah, yeah, guys, I mean, really happy with the way the lawn is. I will probably mow today because I just, I gotta get the true cut out. I just, I'm, I'm going through, uh, going through withdrawal. So I may, May get the mower out at some point today and, and, and cut this. I don't know how much is really going to come off, but we'll, uh, we'll have some fun with it. So guys, if you guys are enjoying this content and you're not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Again, help support me, help support the channel. We've got a lot of really cool content coming up with you guys. If you guys haven't seen some of the newer videos that we've started um, as far as um, uh, that new series on um, fixing my ugly lawn, you know, I'm, I'm uh, doing a collaboration project with my neighbor, Alex, where we are transforming his lawn, which is a lawn that's typical of what most, most of your guys' lawns look like, into a golf course lawn. That's our goal over the, over the course of the season. So definitely subscribe. It's worth checking that out. I think you guys would really enjoy it. Also feel free to like, comment, ask me any questions, anything that I can do to help you guys out. I really enjoy doing this to help lend serving the community. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do, really do appreciate it. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing day.